Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services. This is a video on PIB monthly compilation and I'll be discussing PIB for the month of July. As you know, PIB is a document, PIB which has been released by Government of India is very important for your examination, be it, it is prelims or mains, it is very relevant in both places. So we'll be understanding the entire month compilation and I've segregated the content according to the general studies paper. So how I'll be moving in this session? First, all important news that is relevant for general studies paper 2, the categorization has been made accordingly, followed by some important news that is relevant for general studies paper 3, then some news in brief which you must know, bilateral agreement and summit, and some military exercises and initiative that was reported for the month of July. So this is how we'll be moving in the entire session. And before that, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe at T plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do not forget to press the like button. So starting this session with general studies paper 2 related news. So first is I2U2 summit. This was again very important summit in which India was an important participant or a member. So the first ever IU2U summit was held comprising India, Israel, UAE and the United States. So there are four members, the reason being this is called IU and U, UU, right? So uh, basically U2 members and I2 members may char important countries hai, India, Israel, UAE and United States. Now what is the objective of this mission or you can say this initiative? So the objective of this project include reductions of the trade barrier between the economies of the four important countries and harmonizing the food safety and quality standard, adding the initial list of identified food which include banana, potato, rice, spices and onions. Right? And the leader of India, Israel, United States and United Arab Emirates have decided to ramp up the partnership in area of food security, clean energy, water, transportation, health and space. So these are some priorities areas where on a broad level these four countries have agreement. Ki hai. Now food power across India was also the agenda. Uh, basically, this uh, summit has been talked about. UAE has decided to invest almost $2 billion for food power across India incorporating the state of art climate smart technology to reduce food waste and conserve fresh water and even to employ the renewable energy resources. So this is what UAE in specific making investment for India. Right? And the group has decided to advance a hybrid renewable energy project in Gujarat consisting of 300 megawatts of wind and solar capacity complemented by a battery energy storage system. Right? So this is what UAE has specially made a promise for investment in India. Now about I2U2, how this group actually work. So I2U2 stand for India, Israel, UAE and United States as I have told you beginning and was referred earlier as a West Asian court. Right? And the group was also conceptualized, uh, basically the Bhatkir starting, it was actually conceptualized in 2021 when the meeting of the foreign minister took place in Israel. The group aims to discuss the common mutual interest to strengthen the economic partnership in trade and investment and in our respective region and beyond. So six area of cooperation has been identified by the countries which aims to encourage the joint investment in water, transportation, space, health and food security. Right? So make sure the priority areas are I2 YouTube groups ke liye, wo aapko pata if you are specifically writing in mains examination aap ye zarur highlight kare. now India Pharmacopoeia Commission's Conference 2022 so the Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare has chaired the IPC conference and released the ninth edition of Indian Pharmacopoeia right so this edition number is also important now about the conference, first and foremost theme ki agar baat kare, the conference theme was addressing the medicine quality for the future. This was the theme 
and the minister for health and family welfare while speaking on the occasion has emphasized for the need for a standard quality of a medical product right so this is essentially very important post covid the quality of medical product has become very important now he said that the important to develop a swasth and samudra bharat to maintain a standard of quality and our medical product vaccines medicines and equipment should be of a quality standard even for a global level level standard which should be there now india vaccine capacity ki agar baat kare india in the world is the largest supplier of the generic medicine beat any countries india is considered to be the world largest supplier of generic medicine which account for 20% of the world wide supply of the generic by volume so this number is again important and during the covid-19 pandemic india has delivered accessible and affordable vaccines to almost 150 countries so this is an important point to note and definitely a pride for country like india now about indian pharmacopeia this is ip stands published basically ipc jo hai wo isko publish karti hai on the behalf of the ministry of health and government of india to fulfill the requirement of the drugs and cosmetic act of 1940 IP prescribe official standard for the drug products market and thus contributes to the control and assurance of the quality medicines the standard of IP or authorized and legally enforceable and it intends to help the license of manufacturing inspection distributions of medicine in our country so this is how the entire regulation process is being taken care of other than news that is state startup ranking 2021 so recently the ministry of commerce and industry has released the third edition of ranking for the state support and startup ecosystem baat kare is ranking ki department of promotion and industrial trade that is dp double it ne ye release ki hai under the ministry of commerce and industry and it has ranked the state up ranking exercise since 2018 2018 से ये एक्सरसाइज को स्टार्ट किया है एंड इट हैज बीन कंटिन्यूइंग एंड इट विल फर्दर कंटिन्यू द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू फैसिलिटेट द ईज ऑफ बिल्डिंग एंड स्टार्टअप डूइंग इन द कंट्री अक्रॉस बेसिकली पूरी पैन इंडिया में किस तरह से ईज ऑफ बिल्डिंग स्टार्टअप की जा रही है उसके बारे में रैंकिंग की जाती है हर स्टेट्स में कितनी ईजी है स्टार्टअप कल्चर्स सो द स्टार्टअप बेसिकली द स्टेट एंड यूनियन टेरिटरीज वेर इवेल्यूएटेड अपॉन सेवन ब्रॉड पैरामीटर्स सेवन एरिया ऑफ पैरामीटर्स थे 26 एक्शन प्लान के अंदर उनको रेट किया गया फर्स्ट द ब्रॉड एरियाज इंक्लूड द इंस्टीट्यूशनल सपोर्ट फ्रॉम द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू द स्टार्टअप फोस्टरिंग द इनोवेशन एंड इंटरप्रेनोरियलशिप एक्सेस टू मार्केट इंक्यूबेशन सपोर्ट फंडिंग सपोर्ट कितनी है उस स्टेट में एंड मेंटोरशिप कैपेसिटी टू मेंटोरशिप सपोर्ट टू कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग ऑफ इन ए पी सो दिस वर द सेवन इंपॉर्टेंट ब्रॉड एरियाज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स एक्शन पॉइंट्स Now the category was made five categories बनाई गई हैं states और union territories को लेकर के the first is the best performer followed by top performers leaders aspiring leaders emerging startup ecosystem so state की performance की अगर बात करें Gujarat and Karnataka appeared as the best performer in the state categories second is Meghalaya top UT and northeastern states category Kerala, Maharashtra, Odisha, Telangana won the top performance among the state categories, and Jammu and Kashmir appeared as a top performer among the UT and the North Eastern states. So those of you who are appearing for state PCS specifically, if you are state public service commission examination के लिए तैयारी कर रहे हैं, तो इस तरह के सवाल आपके exams के लिए काफी important हैं. Now Assam, Punjab, Tamil Nadu. Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh has emerged as the winner for the leader state categories. Chhattisgarh, Delhi, Madhya Pradesh, and Rajasthan were the aspiring leaders among the states. And other than Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, and the, have from the states category, Mizoram and Lalda are the UT and North uh, Northeastern state that have topped the emerging startup ecosystem. Right. So these were the states that were accordingly ranked. so if you belong to any state or you are trying to appear for the state pcs aap us states ke bare mein concernedly specifically dekh le now brics labor and employment meeting 
So recently, the Union Minister for Labour and Employment had attended the BRICS Labour Summit Minister Meeting held under the China Presidency. Right. So this is important. Presidency is ki thi? China. Ki thi. The minister for the members, uh, basically, the members country hai, that include Brazil, Russia, India, South Africa, and China, that were the participating in the member. Basically, the meeting we thi, they have participated. These were the member countries. Now, priority areas ki agar baat kere, discussion were held on promoting the green jobs for sustainable development. This was the first priority area. Among the second was the developing a resilient recovery from the post COVID-19 economic recovery, even the labor workforce, which has seen a you know, decrease in the overall participation. Uski recovery ke liye bhi baat hui hai. Protecting the worker rights in the form of employment and the declaration recognized the need for promoting green job, sustainable development, strengthening the corporations and skill development, protecting the worker rights in form of a Employment. Now, measures which India ne jo liye hai to overcome the problem. So, during the session and discussion, the BRICS minister meeting, the Minister of Labor and Employment has elucidated that step these were taken by the government of India during the pandemic. So, kon kon se aise steps hai jo government of India ne liye. First is providing the free rations to all, basically poor families ke liye. Enhancing the number of days for assured employment under Manrega. This was again the initiative that was taken by the government of India. Now collateral free loan up to like close to 2.9 million street vendors to help them resume their service under PM Swanidhi Yojana during the pandemic period. So this were the some of the important steps taken by the government of India. Now sector council for green ki baat ki the union minister for labor and employment has noted that climate change is necessity shift of a sustainable development and green job and in this context the government has launched the sectoral council jobs right basically to develop a strategy and to implement a program for the green sector right skill development in the green sector is something very important india is although targeting towards renewable energy renewable energy india is targeting for renewable energy and it is the right time that we should have a skill development for the green sector and a variety of decentralization energy livelihood opportunity is also going to develop including the myriad solutions like solar diners biomass storage chillers and also other part right so in addition the minister also stressed upon taking measures to harness the blue economy and agroforestry in india my blue economy ke bare mein aage dusre Articles may have discussion. Karunga. Now, the other is Mission Vatsalya scheme. So, recently, the Ministry for Women and Child Development has drafted a guideline for his Mission Vatsalya scheme to the state and union territories and seek their suggestions. So, Jitni the states or union territories hai, unke liye specifically or jada highlight karke draft guideline banai hai, and the ministry has also sought their suggestions. About the mission Vatsalya, it's one of the new three of the scheme along with the mission Shakti and mission portion. So this should be known together, ye mission Shakti or mission portion ke schemes ke hi part. And their aim to secure a healthy, happy child for a ha healthy and happy childhood for every child. It focuses upon the child protection services and child welfare schemes. It has essentially been renamed as a pre-existing scheme called as child protection scheme. Jo CPS scheme thi, uski revamped version hai, mission Vatsal, right? Now, what is the objective? The first and foremost is to secure the healthy and happy uh, childhood for every child, right? And ensure opportunities to enable them to discover their full potential. How this can be done? By harnessing them, by providing them good educations, right? assisting them in furnishing in all respected of the sustained manner, fostering a sensitive, supportive and synchronized ecosystem to develop a child and assistance from the state and union territories in delivering the mandate of the Juvenile Justice Act 2014 and achieving the SDG target. The SDG ke goals hai, unko bhi achieve karna ek important objectives. Hai. Components of Mission Vatsalya, which important components are there are 
six important components. The first include the improvement in the functioning of the statutory body, right? Second is strengthening up the service and delivery structure, upscaling the institutional care and services, encouraging the non-institutional community-based care, emergency outreach services, training and capacity building. So these were the important parts and components of the mission Vatsale. Now other news that is relevant for gender studies paper 3 specifically, we'll see that. The first is Swakt Sagar Shuraktit Sagar campaign. So recently the Ministry of Earth, make sure you know the ministry name also because sometimes UPSC tend to ask the ministry also. So Ministry of Earth and Sciences has launched up clean coastal clean drive up and known as Swakcha Sagar Shurakshit Sarat campaign to clean 75 beaches across the country in 75 days. This is to commemorate the 75th uh, in year of independence of our country. Now aim of the campaign Kikar Baat Kare, this will be the first of its kind, uh, basically longest running coastal cleanup campaign in the world with the highest number of people participation, right? This will call for a behavior change, which was also talked in the economic survey and economic survey ki baat kare, in 2019 and even 20. This was evident that behavioral change was given a focus. So behavioral change pe kaasa focus, basically government is trying to focus on that and create an awareness campaign also. The participation of common man will envoy the message of Swakch Sagar, Surakshit Sagar for prosperity, not only for the coastal region, but also for all parts of the country. Mm -hmm. And the cleanup drive will carry out 75 beaches across the country. And a mobile app has also been launched known as Eco Mitram that has launched to spread the awareness campaign about the common people to the common people specifically because app is a thing where some people can correct kiya ja sakta hai for voluntary registered of their beach cleaning activity. Now objective of this campaign ki agar baat kare, this Ob objective is to minimize the use of plastic. This is the first objective. The other is encouraging the segregation of waste sources and waste management. Third, to reduce the marine litter. And other is running a cleanest campaign along the entire Indian coastline. As you know, India has a 7500 kilometer of coastline. So this is very important that we should have a, a campaign where we should no, basically clean the entire coastline of India. Now participatory organizations ke agar baat kare is campaign mein, Ministry of Earth Sciences, uske alawe Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Indian Coast Guard, National Disaster Management Authority also known as NDMA aur uske baad social organization aur educational institutions ne bhi isme participate kiya. Third edition of India Innovation Index. So recently Niti Aayog has released a third edition of the India Innovation Index. Among that Karnataka, Manipur and Union Territory of Chandigarh has stopped in their respective categories. So baat kare detail bhi, Karnataka ki kar baat kare specifically, Karnataka has stopped the major state categories. Manipur has emerged as a numero uno positions in the northeastern states. Numero uno means a state which is emerging and emerging as a great importance, right? Chandigarh scored over the years of the Union Territories category. Karnataka was followed by Telangana, Haryana, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Bihar, Gujarat were at the bottom of this index. Pillar of this index ki agar baat kare, kaun kaun se important pillars thai jin pe state ko ranking di gai hai. The first was among them human capital, uske baat investment. This is investment, right? Investment, knowledge and workers, business environment, safety and legal environment, knowledge output and knowledge diffusion. So, these are important seven pillars hai. accordingly the state were given the rating. Now, also these pillars were divided into 66 indicators from time to time and 36 earlier to determine the innovation capacity of the state. Earlier 36 was done, now this has been augmented to close to 66, right? Now some recommendations that was also included by the Niti Aayog. So Niti Aayog ne recommend kiya hai ki jo research or development hai, usme kam se kam 2% tak expenditure karne ki zarurat hai. Currently India is spending 0.7%. A 
a very very important point to take a note of right and this will help india to achieve the target of 5 trillion economy and it has also recommended to increase the role of private sector in research and development and innovations the report also recommended to bring the growth of the human capital boost the knowledge capital wide divide also coming in terms of the innovation so triple p is again the key the private public private partnership something is going to be uh, giving a gainful uh, results among the other recommendations the report said that there is also a need for the fill the gap of industries demand and what we produce to our education system so these are some of the important recommendations and part of the niti aayog now university has a potential role to become a go to place for the industries and innovations because india mein kai aise institutions hai chahe wo iits ho nits ho this has actually helped the government of india in getting the best technology right best minds out of technology which is working for the government innovation beat for any sectors right and it also suggested that the country need to undertake creative goods and services which has ignored for the time and also punish more startup pushing more startup for the patent across the country india mein jo patents ke number hai usko badhane ki zarurat hai right and it suggests promoting the spirit of cooperative federalism cf ki baat ki gayi hai cooperative federalism which forecast the ut uh, basically to perform well and ensure in compassing growth now national conclave on dragon fruit so recently the ministry of agriculture farmer has held a national conference on dragon fruit the objective was to give a trust to increase a the area of productions and productivity and even the marketing of the dragon fruit as well increase the farming income and this fruit is considered to be a good nutrition fruit rich in vitamin c and other minerals तो कल्टिवेशन की अगर बात करें इंडिया में सो देर इज अ स्टेप इंक्रीज इन द ड्रैगन फ्रूट कल्टिवेशन स्पेसिफिकली सम स्टेट्स लाइक महाराष्ट्र महाराष्ट्र की अगर बात करें महाराष्ट्र कर्नाटका आंध्र प्रदेश वेस्ट बंगाल तेलंगाना तमिलनाडु उड़ीसा गुजरात एंड अंडमान एंड निकोबार आर सम स्टेट्स वेयर द क्रॉप ड्रैगन फ्रूट इज बींग क्रॉप राइट एंड कंट्री प्रोड्यूस्ड अप्रॉक्सीमेटली ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड टन ऑफ फ्रूट्स एवरी ईयर now dragon fruit ki agar baat kare you can see the color of this fruit there are different variety there are close to three varieties that is present mostly this variety is available in india right so this is a species of wild cactus and indigenous to south and central america so make sure aap iske bare mein acche se samajh le because you can expect a question in the prelims examination right jo bhi cheeze aise is bar mushroom ki question upsc ne already pucha tha right so make sure ki आपको ये चीजें पता हो बिकॉज इफ अ क्वेश्चन इज देयर यू कैन इजली एबल टू आंसर दैट राइट सो द फ्रूट फ्लैश इज यूजली वाइट और रेड एज यू कैन सी इन द कलर एंड द लाइफ स्पैन ऑफ द ड्रैगन फ्रूट प्लांट इज 15 टू 20 इयर्स राइट एंड दे आर ग्रोन इन समर राइज अब द 40 डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड ऑल काइंड ऑफ फ्रूट्स डज नॉट सॉइल बेसिकली इट ग्रोज इन ऑल काइंड ऑफ सॉइल एंड डज नॉट रिक्वायर मच वॉटर so basically water bahut zyada isme zarurat nahi padti hai and the world largest producer and exporter of dragon fruit is vietnam right so vietnam is a country you can see this is rich in vitamin c and even has a lot of fiber close to 5 gram of fibers right now national conference on food and nutritional security so recently the department of food and public distribution has organized a one day national conference on food security and nutritional security so aim kya thi is conference ki first was to facilitate the cross learning and disseminate the best practices under the pds so pds mein jo best practices hain unke bare mein batana logo ko aware karna and strengthen the nutritional security kuch focus ki agar baat kare is conference ki was on the food fortification diversification of food basket crop diversification integrated anavartan portal and reform in the pds and storage system right and conference also served as a platform to reflect upon the challenges khas karke agar uh, true spirit of cooperative federalism ki baat kare wahan pe kis tarah se ek transformation lai ja sakti hai food and nutritional security mein taki pure country pan india it should be benefited for each and every state even for the union territories 
Now, PDS system ki agar baat kare, although this is evident that public distribution system, which is a part under the National Food Security Act, the government ne koshish ki hai ki jada logo ko food or nutrition security mile. And the system manages the food security requirement around 80 crore of the beneficiaries throughout the country network. More than 5.33 lakh fair shop is there in our country. Now, for the food security response, government has many schemes hain, which is like some of them is Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Annyojana, combination with One Nation One Ration Food, where every individual belongs to any state, se belong karta ho, kisi bhi state pe Pan India apni ration ko avail kar sakta hai, right? This was there during the COVID-19, and some of other important efforts which has actually helped the most poor and vulnerable of this country. Uh, blue economy policy. I have discussed starting with 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 the with starting 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 with for sustainable development of the coastal areas. The policy document contains some key recommendations of the national accounting framework for the blue economy and ocean governance, coastal marine spatial planning, tourism priority, and marine fisheries agriculture processing. Uske alabe, bhoot sare aur important sectors hain, jin mein dhyan di gai hai government ke taraf se. I'll read out everything one by one. Manufacturing, usme ye important sector hai. Emerging industries, Technology, service and skill development, logistic, infrastructure, shipping, coastal and deep mining, offshore energy, security, strategic dimension and international engagement. So these are some of the areas upon which the key recommendations were given in the National Accounting Framework for the Blue Economy. So if you write it in the main paper, you will mention all keywords there. Now there are some thematic areas also, seven thematic areas highlight kiye. The first is a national accounting framework for the blue economy and ocean governance. Uske alabi, the coastal marine spatial planning and tourism, marine fisheries, aquaculture, feed producing, manufacturing. Ye jo mein aapko jitni baati batai hai, ye haan pe aap seven framework mein bhi individual point ke taur pe dek sakte hai, right? So this is again important for your exam. Now some short news, uh, some news in brief that is again relevant for prelims examination. So India has detonated five Ramsar sites according to the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. There are three sites from Tamil Nadu, one from Mizoram, and other from Madhya Pradesh that has been recognized as a wetland for international importance under the Ramsar Convention. And the total Ramsar site in India is now 54. Earlier it was 49, now this is 54 now. So kwan kwan se sites hai jo include kiye gaye hai? First is, I'll, I'll show you an image also, but let's see what are the names of that. First is Kirikli Bird Sanctuary, which is located in the Kanchipuram district of Chennai. Uske alavi Palli Karni Mass Reserve, which is described as the, one of the forest remaining wetlands of the Chennai city. And the other is Pichavaram Mangrove near Chitambaram in the Kudalore district of, which is also considered to be the world's second largest mangrove forest. This is also in Chennai. Now, Sagya Lake, which is in the Shupur district of Madhya Pradesh, and Pala wetland is the largest lake in the Mizoram. The wetland is about 360 km from the capital, Aiswat. So, jitne bhi names hai, wo aap zaroor dhyan rakhe. These are some of, you can take even the screenshot. So, aap iske aspas mein jo bhi, uh, basically forest hai, tiger reserve hai, national sanctuaries hai, and basically national parks hai, jitne bhi NPs hai, jo rivers hai, this is the map. This is very important for your prelims examination. Right? Now, Pariman, the geospatial for NCR. Recently, the Union Ministry for Urban Housing and Development has rolled Pariman to open public. And this is a geospatial that will help to improve the decentralization planning and management of the NCR region. This portal consists of 179 layering presented to line, point, polygon, features, detail of the various sectors like land use, transport, industries, water, power, health center, heritage, tourism, and disaster management. The portal was developed by the National Informatics Centers. NIC has developed. This is again 
an important point. Now, India's largest floating solar power project. This was there in Telangana. It's a very important point from your prelims point of view. Se, ya, fir, kisi aur government competitive examination, mein, right? Uh, Ramagundam is a place. And the National Thermal Power Corporation, that is NPPC, has set up 100 megawatt of the plant through Bharat Heavy Electrical Limited, that is BHE, right? And the procurement engineering, that is EPC contract. So, this method is engineering, procurement and construction contracts. NTPC has set up the reservoir in its thermal plant, saving uh, the valuable land resources and conserving the water by reducing the evaporation. And the floating platform consists of inverter, transformator, HT breakers and the solar module has placed the floater manufacturing with high density polythene material, which is also known as HTP materials. Now, National Apprentice Promotion Scheme, recently the Ministry of Skill and Development and Entrepreneurship has announced the National Apprentice Promotion Council, this scheme you know, announced here that will help for the direct beneficiary transfer of the scheme providing the uh, government benefit to all apprentices. So by launching the DBT scheme, the government will directly transfer the contribution of bank account Jobi beneficiaries on the apprentice jo unko actually benefits mil hai. National Skill Development Corporations ki 25% stipend hai. up to 1500 rupees per month will be payable directly to the account. This will be done through the DBT board that is direct benefit transfer, right? And the scheme will boost the skill mission in India by creating a sustainable skill development strategy in association with government businesses and educational institutions. Now some bilateral agreement and summit that is again relevant for your examination. So first is India-Africa Trade and Investment Agreement. So recently the government of India has emphasized upon need for the trade and investment between India and Africa, right? And a special ministerial session that is 17 CII Exim Bank may basically organized ki thi. and India and Africa Growth Partnership so Minister of Commerce said that it's going forward with economic outlook and going to be promising for both mm -hmm. India and Africa because there is where the market opportunities are presented, mm -hmm. right? And India want partnership on terms that will comfortable and benefit for the Africa also. Not only for India, it will mutually benefit both the countries. Now India ki commitment ki agar baat kare, India is committed to economic resurgence of Africa, right? And India has experienced a digital revolutions to support Africa growth, extend education, health, spread digital literacy, quality and infrastructure that has to be harnessed. Now India has also pursued a deeper engagement for development and also India has recently concluded comprehensive economic partnership with United Arab Emirates, economic cooperation trade with Australia. So not only for African countries, India and UAE Australia ke saath bhi economic cooperations ko badhaya hai. India has experienced a startup ecosystem that can benefit Africa and even the digital initiative like UPI, ONDC can even benefit the African countries immense. India-EU Trade and Investment Agreements So India and European Union have recently concluded the first round of negotiation for the India-EU Trade Investment Agreement including the geographical indications. Around 52 technical sessions covering 18 priority areas of the free trade agreement and 7 sessions on investment promotion and the GI were held. Now the second round of negotiation is scheduled to take place in September 2022 at Brussels. India EU trade value ki agar baat kare, India and bilateral trade with EU amounted to 1.1630 billion dollars. This is for 2021 and 22. Despite the global disruptions, this is a good number where overall annual growth is 43.5%. And current India is the second largest trading partner after US. Right? EU is India's second largest trading partner in terms of all the uh, basically second destination for the Indian's export. And the trade agreement for the EU has helped India further expanding, diversifying the export of goods, services, including the securing and the value chain also. Both sides are aiming for the trade negotiations to have a broad based balanced comprehensive partnership between the principle of fairness and reciprocity. So, both countries have a good understanding of 
they are working together in close coordination so that the trade value between India and EU should take a toll and even it should reduce close marginally to 70% or close to 60 to 65%. Now some military exercises and initiative and news. So X win back 2022 exercise. This is the third edition of exercise between the Vietnam India bilateral army exercise that was conducted. And the exercise is a sequel to previously conducted bilateral exercise in Vietnam. Major milestone is strengthening the bilateral relationship between India and Vietnam. So, you countries to zaroor yaad rakhne aur kis particular chijo pe ki gayi wo bhi dhyan rakhna hai. India and Vietnam share the comprehensive strategic partnership and defense cooperation is a key pillar of partnership. Vietnam is an important partner in India's actist policy and in the Indo-Pacific region. So, if we talk about win-backs, this is uh, employment and deployment of engineers, company and medical team as a part of the United Nations consignment for the peacekeeping operations. Swalamban, recently Swalamban has made the maiden seminar of the Naval Innovations and Indigenization Organization, which is called NIIO, was unveiled by the Prime Minister himself. And the two-day seminar saw enthusiasm participation from academia, industries, policy maker, think tank, student and senior government officials. So the highlight of the seminar was the release of IDEX DIG 7 that is SPRINT by the Prime Minister. And SPRINT stands for supporting poll valuing in research and development through IDX, NIO and TDAC. Right? This is a collaboration between the Defense Innovation Organization that is DIO and NIO aimed keeping that at least 75 indigenous technique or technology produced as a part of Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. So government is trying to incorporate and celebrate 75 years of India's independence in each and every sector marking their contribution for the nation development and economic growth. Now, Churaksha Manthan 2022, the Desert Corp of Indian Army has recently organized the Suraksha Manthan as an aspect of broader and coastal security at Jodhpur. This venue is again important for the examination. And the training calendar was formulated to achieve high degree of interoperability and joint exercises among the security forces. If we talk about security threats or challenges ki, along with the mitigation response, there was a deliberate upon with such scenario that would be the part of the forthcoming exercises. So the exercise accordingly called for other level of uh, basically alignment between the country basically jo india ke jo indian jo desert corps hai, of indian army they will be taking further now it is further decided to create and enabling the security environment and develop tangible capacity developed for the roadmap to achieve the same and during the course of discussion the aspect of interoperability operations cohesion logistic where i know out in the out in the border to enhance the security along with the international boundaries and coastal sectors so jo international boundaries hai uske sath sath jo hamare coastal sector hai use bhi kaise aur enhance kiya ja sakta hai in sare cheezon ke bare mein manthan hui manthan is like you know, a deep thought discussion pondering on the issue of security right so this was all about for the pib compilation for the month of july we have lot more other initiatives for you like daily news and editorial analysis which I covered from the Hindu and Indian Express. Now, IS Gazette ki magazine download kar sakte hai, IS Gyan ke website se. FC is released on every second and fourth Sunday, right? PIB, which I am discussing just now. NPR already hamare website pe release ho chuki hai. You can check the playlist section if you have not watched it. And the gist of Yojana and Guru Shetra has also been uploaded. So, all this initiative will help you to sail through the journey of civil services. If you have any other concern, you can let me know. I'll be more than happy to assist you. For time being, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching this video.